welcome again to the auto expo 2023 and this time i am at the hyundai pavilion and i have with me mr tarun garg and we're going to be talking about hyundai's strategy for the future especially since the company just unveiled the ionic 5 and in fact launched it at a very interesting price point of 44.95 lakhs and that i think is going to be kind of a game changer in the ev space so tarun uh, welcome to express mobility and uh, no, the Ionic 5, quite an iconic car, I would say, <laughs> in terms of the styling and the way it is. Um, how do you see the way forward for the EV space for Hyundai? Because this, you already had one product in the market earlier, but in limited numbers, the Kona, and now you have the Ionic 5. So look, uh, uh, frankly speaking, if you see globally, uh, Hyundai has been kind of a pioneer uh, in the electric space. This Ionic brand. Uh, is a very very successful brand. Ionic 5 has been really uh, awarded uh, world, as World Car of the Year, and I think it was high time that we launched it in India. And I'm, I personally am very very excited the kind of response we are receiving since yesterday. Uh, as you know, we have uh, already announced a direction uh, uh, towards cleaner mobility, yes. and uh, in fact, in 2019 when Kona was launched by us, frankly, uh, EVs were only being talked about, and here was a fully electric. Uh, SUV, uh, uh, you know, in terms of Kona and now with Ionic 5, I think the whole landscape is going to change because this is much more than a car. Yeah. Here, if you see uh, the kind of uh, flexible sp uh, spacing uh, is there, the kind of V2L feature where yeah. you can, you know, charge appliances using the car. Right. In 21 minutes, it, it charges from 10 to 80 percent using a 150 kilowatt charger, 60 connected features. ADAS level 2, 21 features. So it is really much more than a car. You can do so many things. And I believe the whole electric landscape in India is going to change. Uh, going forward, of course, we are going to be present in every segment. And uh, and of course, we know that we have to work on the entire ecosystem, yes. whether it is the charging ecosystem or whether it <coughs> is the supply chain. So a lot of work uh, happening on that right. front. And as and when we are ready, we will, of course, right. uh, keep on sharing with you. So while the EV space is still more on the expensive side of the uh, price uh, ladder on the lower end you all have been working with uh, hybrids uh, petrol uh, cng hybrids so uh, do you s how long do you see that strategy panning out look if you see we have a very very clear strategy uh, in the suv space if you see we have the petrol we have the turbo yes. we have the diesel diesel yes. doing very strong in the entry level, we have the petrol and the CNG, CNG. and you see an uh, Aura plus Neos put together, we are doing about 50, 60,000 a year. So mm. very, very strong. Diesels in the Creta, already 55%, mm. Tucson, 75, 80%, Alcazar, 75, yes. 80%. Uh, we have a very, very superior diesel engine doing very well in SUVs. Mm. And here now we have two electrics as well. Yes. So the strategy is very clear because uh, we believe that this is what the customer wants. He wants a choice in every segment. Yes. And that is what we have been trying to give. In addition, of course, we have the turbo, uh, which is again gaining a lot of traction in India. And uh, we are excited about the future of turbo engines as well in India. Sure. But specifically talking about diesel, since you mentioned it, I mean, Hyundai is one of the few companies that's still offering yes. diesel in the small car segment, yeah. whereas it's becoming kind of unviable for many other people. How do you see with the new RDE norms coming in? How do you see diesel evolving? Look, frankly speaking, uh, these regulations have been coming year on year and every every time talks are there, okay, what will happen? I think, please understand, as SUV segment is increasing, so diesel automatically is increasing. Right. Because in SUVs, people prefer, have a very, very strong preference for diesel. Yes. So I can understand, yes, small cars, uh, probably like I said, petrol and CNG makes right. much more sense. But in SUVs, diesel remains a very, very strong option for the customers. And over the years, we have seen it really doing very well and we are confident that going forward also it will continue to do well okay and uh, what about in the electric vehicle space uh, your plans to come into the mass market uh, eventually yes of course eventually we we want to be present in every segment in the electric vehicle space as well and uh, uh, so uh, of course like i said uh, now is time is about ionic 5 and to really enjoy and see that the customers uh, you know uh, have an experience of the of the Hyundai technology and uh, uh, the design, the, like I said, the space, the connectivity, and going forward, yes, uh, we we want to be a very strong player in the electric vehicle market as well. And Indian market, as you know, uh, while well, the government of course says that 30% penetration of uh, by is, 2030, yeah. some experts are saying maybe minimum 15%. In our estimate, also it should be around 20%. 
or so right. uh, if things go right. So I think it's going to be a very very strong uh, 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 part of our strategy going forward. Right. And uh, coming to the SUV strategy, of course, you have an SUV in almost every price segment, starting from the venue to Creta to uh, to so. Uh, anything sub ten lakhs? Look. Uh, as you know that, uh, uh, frankly, uh, with all humility, I would say that we have spotted this trend much earlier. Uh, in fact, in 2015, when Creta was launched, SUVs used to contribute only 13.5% to Correct. the overall industry. Last year, it was 42% as an industry and Hyundai was 53%. Going forward, we feel that this 42% will move up also. Uh, yes, there are some gaps uh, in the portfolio. Uh, although we already have now a good portfolio of seven yes. vehicles in SUVs. Uh, but as a strategy, we have always looked at the, you know, what are the opportunities and uh, where we can kind of fit in. And, and the moment we are ready, we'll, we'll inform you. So we, we understand and we know and we, are, we keep our eyes and ears very open to the customer needs. Yeah. And uh, so as and when time comes, uh, we'll want to be present in uh, every segment. Okay. And um, in terms of the manufacturing costs, in the last couple of years, there's been a steep increase in raw material prices, uh, be it in metal, or be it in uh, battery technology or any of this thing. How is that impacting your uh, sales strategy? Look, nobody likes uh, uh, higher costs or higher prices. So at Hyundai, we do a lot of efforts. We do a lot of engineering and because we have a responsibility to keep off our prices right. And that has always been our endeavor. So right. we'll continue that in the future as well. At the same time, uh, when the costs go up beyond a particular point, it's, it's, it, it has to be simply passed on to the customer. But our endeavor is always to keep it keep it low. Okay. Uh, anything, um, you know, the union budget is coming up. Do you expect any kind of uh, cuts or any kind of uh, PILs coming in again this time? Look, uh, frankly speaking, as far as, as a car OEM, uh, we believe that whatever is good for Indian economy will be good for us. So I'm sure uh, government knows their job well and uh, uh, whatever will be the provisions in the budget, it will be good for the country, it will be good for the economy. And when the sentiment is good, when people's disposable income is good, then cars automatically sell. Yeah. Uh, as far as any specific thing is concerned, we have Siam uh, who is always in touch yes. with the government and uh, I'm sure uh, they would be charting a good roadmap uh, uh, for the Indian auto industry going forward. Great. On that note, I shall take leave. Uh, so th that was Tarun Garg at the Hyundai Pavilion and for more on the Auto Expo, you can watch um, our video coverage on Express Drives and also follow Express Mobility for more from the component side of the business as well. Thanks. Thank you.